Hey everyone, Mr. Happy here, and in this video, just wanted to share with you all Naoki Yoshida's official response to the housing drama that's been going on in Final Fantasy XIV. For those who may not be aware, the housing area of Shirogane was released in Patch 4.1 this last week. And just like every other housing area before it, there were not nearly enough houses for the demand that was there. Basically, 700 plus new houses all gone in 5, 10, 20, 30 minutes, depending on what server you ask about. And all the plots that were left up from people who relocated from old plots were also snatched up as well. So pretty much, there's not enough housing in Final Fantasy XIV. This isn't news! There has never been enough housing in Final Fantasy XIV, at least if you're looking for an actual house with the full outdoor and indoor functionings, including, for free companies, the Crafting Workshop. Well, the community's had enough of it, because there has been a huge uproar over this way more than any of the previous housing snafus. And yes, there are apartments, but like I said, they don't have the full functionality, low custom ability, and they're quite small. So, there was a demand for the dev team to respond to this, and Naoki Yoshida himself responded on all of the different language forums. So, this is what he had to say. Hello everyone, this is Final Fantasy XIV producer and director Naoki Yoshida. Patch 4.1 saw the introduction of the residential area Shirogane, and though we are pleased so many players are enjoying this area, we also received a great deal of feedback regarding this newest addition to housing. While a great number of you were interested in either purchasing or relocating a plot to Shirogane, we failed to prepare sufficient plots for players, and in that, I deeply apologize. This problem was only made worse by the increased stress on the servers from players rushing to log in after the end of the maintenance. As a result, the system implemented to prevent players from abusing the relocation location feature failed to function properly, preventing some players from relocating altogether. Although this issue will be addressed in today's hotfix, we understand this does not address the underlying issue. In light of the feedback we have received, we will be working to bolster our servers in preparation for additional wards in the Lavender Beds, the Goblet, Mist, and Shirogane by Patch 4.2. We've also received considerable feedback as to how they should be added, and we will be making an announcement outlining the number of new wards and how they will be sold after reviewing said feedback. To prevent speculation, we will refrain from releasing information until absolutely necessary. We ask for your patience and understanding until we can provide you with these details. I hope we can count on your continued support and that you all continue to enjoy the various content added in 4.1. So, this covers a few points. For one, it's an apology for how messed up the housing situation was when 4.1 went live. Number two, it acknowledges that, straight up, they didn't do enough houses. I can't believe that they would be surprised by the fact that there weren't enough houses. You know how many people play your game, you know how many houses are available, and you know how many people are on each server. That shouldn't be something that kind of you feel that you underprepared for. You should know that it's a been a bad situation ever since housing was initially added. It hasn't changed. In fact, it's worse now because there's more people playing the game. So that kind of surprised me a little bit, and that seems more like a, a PR-esque answer, just acknowledging that this was exactly what happened. Now, on top of apologizing for the bug with relocating, the underlying issue is not enough housing. So they're going to be adding new wards to all four of the housing areas. Even that, however, does not address some of the underlying issues with housing in Final Fantasy XIV, and I want to take this opportunity to talk about some things that currently don't work. Now, I will say this. I'm not oblivious to server issues to the fact that bandwidth isn't as simple as people make it out to be. You can't just have certain things a certain way because it makes more sense, especially considering the game's probably built on old server infrastructure, which has been a bane to the addition of features ever since it was reworked from 1.x into 2.0. So that being said, what could they feasibly do to help improve the situation with housing right now? Well, it seems that they are looking at feedback on exactly that, based on the uh, second to last paragraph we have right here, where it's not only the new wards, but it's how they're going to be sold. One of the big problems with housing going live right in 4.1 is that even people who don't want housing are all logging in simultaneously to do things like Shinri, the new dungeon, main story. We are all rabid gamers. It's just a way that not just gamers in general, but MMO gamers in particular work. If we are dedicated to a game, a lot of people take off from work and just all just destroy the servers and the queues, which makes for laggy launchers, makes for bugs, makes for so many issues that cause people who are just looking for this one thing that also happens to be limited get screwed. It's just kind of a side result. So I don't believe they'll be doing it at any sort of major point where everyone wants to log in. Uh, there's multiple ways they could do that. They could have houses unlock every X amount of hours. Though the fear there, and I'll address this in a second, is that if someone has multiple characters and they know there's a new wave every three hours, 
yeah, that's the other underlying issue we'll get to in a second. They could just get one every three hours or so if that was the number that they were using. Um, but they're refraining from releasing any information until absolutely necessary. It could be a lottery system, in which people also probably wouldn't be a fan of. As long as there's not enough houses to meet the demand, none of those are necessarily going to work in the long term. They're all band-aid fixes. One of the key fixes, I believe, that is not a band-aid fix, and this is the underlying issue outside of there not being enough of it, of it being a limited resource. You can buy one house per character. If they could somehow adjust that, and I don't think somehow, I think this needs to happen, to you can only have one house per account, and if they're all on the same side, see, there's other logistics there, but let's say you have eight characters on one server and somebody just buys a house on each character. That sucks. You're just denying it from other people just so you can have it yourself and display your own greed. Or for people to flip houses, which by the way, don't forget, you can report people if you see them selling houses in-game or in the party finder or something like that. That being said, that doesn't solve the issue if someone has characters on multiple servers and they just buy houses on multiple servers. Maybe you make it so you can still only have one per account. That gets kind of screwy a little bit. And one per server or, or one per server per account is still a little bit off. But uh, I, I don't know. They would have to do kind of an overhaul of the way you apply for housing in the first place. Which may be one of the solutions. Maybe you apply for housing on the Mog Station or on a website or something. Not real money involved. Just saying using those services. Um, so that's one of the underlying issues. They need to make it so you cannot own more than one house per account, at least per server for the time being, unless they can come up with a better solution for that, and in some way handle the people who do have multiple houses per account per character, or whatever it is, or, uh, or per account on different characters. So I think that's key issue number one. Fix that, and that opens up a ton of housing, because there are entire wards that are owned by singular entities or free companies with people just having alts and stuff like that. Um, on top of that, they already have uh, flipping houses as a bannable offense. Uh, one of the other things is there needs to be more housing available. Now, putting more wards in there is great, but even if you were to fix issue that we the issue we just discussed, and if you were to make it so that there were double the amount of wards right now, it probably still wouldn't be enough housing realistically. So, what do they need to do? They were their best bet is probably to enhance instanced housing. It's not really a solution, but if instanced housing has all the same functionality as a full house and has some additional features that allow you to make it feel more like a full house, that would at least improve the situation a little bit. Uh, for example, right now our apartments are one size. It'd be nice if there were multiple sizes of apartments or you could start with one size and then build up to other sizes all within your little instance area. That's It's still not a solution, but it's an improvement because the main reason why apartments feel so inadequate is because housing outside of apartments exists. If we only had apartments, it probably wouldn't be, okay, well, everyone has apartment. Cool, that's what our housing is in this game. Could it be better? Yes, but everyone's on fair terms. And even apartments aren't unlimited. While there are tens of thousands of them per server, that still goes forward. But if we can fit tens of thousands of those per server, is there any way we can improve them to make it so that they're more desirable to the, uh, to the players who maybe can't get traditional housing on the open wards? Uh, and I think there definitely is some way to access things like gardening indoors, you know, content that's only available to people outdoors. Maybe you make outdoor furniture work in apartments so that there's no uh, there's no furniture that's locked behind them. Um, I don't know. There has to be some way to improve that experience, though, so for so people don't feel like it's just a bootleg house, pretty much, and something they don't even care about, which is how most people feel about apartments, except for a handful of people that I've never met. So I don't know if you actually exist. Um, and then there was one other thing that they could do um, that would probably help. I'm, I'm trying to think. It's really those two things. There was one other thing I was prepared to talk about, but it kind of slipped my mind with all the other thoughts kind of racing through my head. But basically, it's not great right now. I'm someone who doesn't care about housing. I didn't log in to rush a house for Shirogane. You know, my girlfriend bought a house, and she takes care of that house and redecorates it from time to time. My free company owns a house, and that's it. I don't need a house. I want other people to have housing because it matters to them, and it doesn't matter to me. Um, and I think that the whole owning a full ward or owning multiple houses thing is probably the worst part of all of this. Is it such a lack of consideration for another player that... I just, I don't know. And then there's the concern of people who have multiple accounts. Honestly, if you're paying an extra, I don't know, $13 a month, you know what, take the extra house because there's no way they're going to be able to enforce something along those lines that, that kind of counteracts that. If you're paying an extra sub fee per month, like as far as I'm concerned, that sub fee is what's paying for your right to have a house. It sucks, but it's it's their greed is, is feeding, the, is lining the pockets of Square Enix, so I don't know what else I could really say there. But it's wrong, 
everyone should be providing feedback if you have feedback for it. And something within reason is what I would consider. Don't just say make housing infinite. That's not really, that doesn't help. You know, you need to come up with structured things that are within reason, especially in this three to three and a half month period before we actually get to patch 4.2. Maybe it'll come sooner. It says buy 4.2. It'll probably be 4.2. But anyway, uh, that's going to be a wrap for this video. I wanted to share with you my thoughts on the current housing situation as well as Nerik Yoshida's quote. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'm sure plenty of you got screwed. Try to be nice to each other in the chat. You know, it sucks when some people have a house and they're trying to be a part of the discussion and everyone just rails on. Just be courteous of people for fuck's sake. That's the entire point of this video is that not being courteous to people has led to part of the problem right now. So don't be a piece of shit. All right, that's all I'm asking for you to not do in the YouTube section. Just don't be shitty to each other. This is pointless. You're going to do it anyway. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share. And stay tuned for more 4.1 guides now that I've gotten this little PSA out the way. I'll see you next time. And until then, take care.